All right, welcome back to another behind the scenes video. Today, I'll be breaking down how I created that little product ad that you just saw using a smartphone. Now, today's video is sponsored by Storyblock, so if you're ever in need of some royalty-free stock footage, motion backgrounds, After Effects templates, or overlays, then Storyblocks is the place for you. As you might already know, I use Storyblocks all the time for both personal work as well as client work. I even used it for this video for a couple of those assets you saw in the background. So if you're interested, go to the link down in the description below or go to storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer to learn more. Now, the purpose of this video and this behind the scenes has nothing to do with price. iPhones and smartphones in general are not exactly cheap, but most people do have access to smartphones in day-to-day -day life. Whereas on the other hand, not everyone has access to a camera like this, the Sony a7S III. So while I will be shooting the video on my phone, I'm still going to be using my regular gear like my lighting and my backdrops. And that is because I actually want to put to the test how close can I get a commercial shot on my phone to look like a commercial that was shot on my regular camera. That being said, we'll be making a little mock or spec ad for this kombucha here. I am not being paid nor am I sponsored by this company. This is just purely for fun and educational purposes. Now I'm gonna be trying out some of the same usual techniques that I would use in most of my product commercials. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so for this first shot, I'm gonna be doing a green screening technique that's pretty similar to what I did in my previous video. I'm gonna be taking our kombucha and putting it on top of this ball head here, which is mounted to our Pan Pro. I'm going to use sticky tack to keep it secure. I'm gonna be using a little tripod with a phone holder to put our phone on. And I'm actually okay with mounting this vertically because I want the can to fill up most of the frame. Because we're keying out the can on a green screen anyway, it doesn't matter if we're shooting 16 by nine or nine by 16. And I'm just gonna set this up down here. And what I'm gonna do now, and this is actually really important, is I'm going to tap and hold on the can here and you'll see it blink twice. That means our auto exposure and auto focus are locked, meaning they won't change mid shot. And I'm actually going to click and drag down from that box to lower the exposure just a little bit because I don't want my highlights blown out. Now that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hit record here and using my remote, which controls our turntable, I'm just gonna start rotating our shot. And that should be a pretty good starting point for whatever effects we're gonna to apply to this clip. If you wanna see a more in-depth and detailed tutorial on how to green screen a shot like this, you can check out my previous video. Okay, so this next shot is very ambitious. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to pull this off, but it is very much inspired by this Instagram account called F Lambert or Flambert. Not totally sure how to pronounce that, but they had this really impressive commercial for a drink with one shot in particular that I wanna try and recreate. Essentially in their video, they had a bunch of grapefruit slices kind of come together and form a drink can. I'm gonna try a similar thing with lemon slices with my own little twist on it. I know it sounds complicated and that's because it is. It's gonna take a little bit of trial and error and quite a bit of work, but I'm optimistic that I'll be able to figure it out. So let's give it a try. Now, as I mentioned, we are gonna be doing this with lemons, which as you know, are yellow. Yellow and green are kind of close in color, which is why I've actually gone ahead and flipped around our green screen to the blue side because yellow and blue contrast a little bit more, making it easier to key out. So I'm bringing a whole lemon into our shot here as a stand-in so we can set our focus and our exposure. We wanna make sure to lock that. I think that looks pretty good. And we've got six lemon slices here and we're just gonna bring them in one by one, kind of raise them and lower them and then move on to the next. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. So my original idea for getting each lemon slice one by one on a toothpick did not pan out. When I brought the shots into editing, they were way too shaky. I couldn't get it to look consistent like they were actually floating. So all we can do now really is just experiment until I figure out another way and I'll report back to you when something works.
Okay, so here is the contraption I've come up with. Um, it's kind of falling apart now, but we got our shot. Essentially, we have each lemon slice on a toothpick going through a chopstick that I drilled holes into, and each toothpick kind of goes through the chopsticks and into this cork for more stability. The chopstick is secured by a clamp, which is on a ball head, and I've just got that sitting on some other stuff for more stability and height. This friction arm here has our aperture MC light, which is giving us extra light on our lemon slices. And as you just saw, all I did was I took my iPhone and kind of articulated up and down vertically, getting different perspectives. And what should happen is we bring that into editing, key out the blue. And because each lemon slice is secured onto the same sort of fixed position, we should get a pretty stable shot. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is get a shot that we can then transition into our lemon slices. So I'm thinking to make this a little bit more interesting, our opening shot of the video will be this lemon kind of rolling on the table. Sarah picks it up and then throws it straight up. So basically all you need to do, start with your hand up like this, bring it straight down on top of the lemon, roll like that, bring it back and let it roll into your palm, throw straight up. And my goal is to just kind of track it and follow the motion. I'm gonna be shooting this in 4K at 30 frames per second. Three, two, one, go. Nope, start up high like this. And three, two, one, go. I think that was perfect. <laughs> All right, so for the next setup here, we've got the green screen on the floor. There's a sheet of glass here, which we'll put our raspberries on. We've got one light on this side with a strip light diffuser. And then on this side, we've got the lantern to balance it out. All we're gonna do is take the second sheet of glass and press it down over top, squishing the raspberries. My phone isn't fully top down because then we would be catching the reflection. So instead it's on a little bit of an angle, but we should be good to go. So let's give it a try. For the pouring shot, I'm actually gonna switch to slow-mo mode and make sure that we're in HD 120 frames per second. Three, two, one, go. Okay, one more time. And three, two, one, go. Perfect. Now, in order to take all of these shots to the next level, I decided to bring in some assets from Storyblocks. I started with this kind of dreamy blue animated background for our lemon slice shot, followed by these raspberries, which I then keyed out myself to put in the background as well. After that, I also downloaded these splashes for the background of our pouring shot, and then finally a couple of smoke overlays to enhance the final ending shot. With a Storyblocks Unlimited All Access plan, I can download as many clips as my heart desires, use them for my own projects and for client work, so if you are interested, you can check out the link down in the description below, or go to storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer to learn more.